I'm going to do some random pulls for Siamese Mahjong using National Mahjong League rules. If you don't know how to play Siamese Mahjong yet, what are you waiting for? It really is fun and it's challenging. In this exercise, I am going to test my decision making by timing myself. This is good practice for playing in tournaments. Do you play in tournaments where they have a timer going? You, you have to play a certain number of hands in a, an allotment of time. That's a lot of pressure. If you practice though, this will take the pressure off. If you're just learning how to play Siamese Mahjong, or if you already know how to play and want to improve your game, consider subscribing and click the bell so you get notification for when I post new videos. That way you won't miss anything. Let's get to some Siamese sprints. I have my stopwatch out on my smartphone. You can use any stopwatch. All my tiles are out and they've been mixed. I'm going to say we're the dealer for these sprints. Laps one, three, and five will be the sprints and then laps two and four will be set up. And we'll take an average. I think a good goal is for beginners to make decisions in under four minutes. For intermediate players, under three minutes, and for advanced players, under two minutes. So let's see how things go with these sprints. These will mimic my drawn hand. 28 tiles. Let's see how this goes. We have news. I'm thinking we should play news with ones. Pair hand. Look at that. News with ones. And then down here, we need to leverage these flowers. Here's a pair of threes. We do have a pair of sevens. Maybe something consecutive with six, seven, eight, five, six, seven, eight, or six, seven, eight, nine. I think that might be joker bait. Okay, I'm gonna lap. News with ones five, six, seven, eight, or six, seven, eight, nine consecutive. This is joker bait. That way, if somebody ex makes an exposure with jokers, you can use these to get those jokers in your hand. If I had to pick a hand, I think probably to leverage these flowers, let's see, maybe five, because we're not going to be able to use them all, six, seven, five, six, seven, opposite suits in Kongs, that would be the third hand down under consecutive run. Another option might be lucky 13, maybe. I suppose I would hold that one for a while. But I think giving yourself as many options as possible, here's a five, six, five, six, seven. We could use these as joker bait then. Five, six, seven, six, seven, eight, nine, five, six, seven, eight. There's all kinds of options in there. That's what I would do here. If you would do something different for hand one, write hand one in the comment section and then tell me what you would have done. Let's go to the next sprint.
two, four, four, six, eight, four. I'm thinking a two, four, six, eight hand. Let's just see how that looks. Two, four, six, eight. What we have here, two, four, six, eight, two, four, four, six. We don't have any eight dots, but we could use the joker. So I think a two, four, six, eight hand, but I would hold every two, four, six, eight. Then down here, I think we could play lucky 13. Lap. Two, four, six, eight, somehow with two suits. That way we can use the four dots down here for lucky 13. We might need that joker to help with those flowers. Here we have joker bait and eight discards. Eight discards is a really great goal for your decision making. Try to make decisions leaving yourself with eight discards. If you have joker bait, that's okay. Technically these are discards, but you may get benefit from these. If your opponent makes an exposure with jokers using those tiles, you could maybe exchange them to get jokers in your hand. So we have two, four, six, eight, lucky 13, eight discards with joker bait. If you would do something different for random pull two, write hand two and then what you would have done differently in the comment section. If we get a, two more flowers or a four dot, this hand would be set. Just as a side thought, no, that would wreck it. I was thinking we could play east and west with fours, but that would destroy this hand. You want to make it so that you're not using the same tiles in between your two different hands. So I think this is a really good plan. All right, on to sprint three. Okay, I'm seeing a lot of two, three, four, five. Let's pull it together. Two, three, four, five. Look at that two, three, four, five. All those. That's a lot to work with. Two, three, three, four. One, two, three, four. We could do one, two, three, four, maybe. This would be the one. One, two, three, four. Or we could do three, four, three, four, five. Let's put these up here. Three, four, three, four, five. That might be better. Three, four, three, four, five. That would be the fourth hand down. Three, four, three, four, five. Then up here, we have a pung of twos. One, two. I'm thinking maybe we could play a year hand or let's see here two we could maybe play oh let's see two four six eight hand maybe two four a two four six eight hand this would be joker bait okay i'm gonna lap i went over on that one okay so here's how i would play this one I would do either, I think we're gonna need this up here. Like numbers with flowers. So this would be a two bam right there. An option would be to play a two, four, six, eight hand, or we could even do a one, two, three hand. The threes are down here though, that's a problem. 
So this most likely will be joker bait, as with the sevens. Then what I would do down here is three, four, three, four, five consecutive run, in which case I might even hold these for a while. So there's a lot of options in there. We have two discards before we have to really decide, but we definitely can't keep all of them. And we have two joker bait. If you would do something different for hand three, let me know. There is one other thing I just saw. One, two, three. One, two, three. And then the other one could be, really that destroys the hand, which is why I really didn't pick it for that. We could maybe play like numbers with fours, but then look at all these. I guess that's not too bad. It's kind of in between, but really we used pretty much the same tiles. One, two, three. With this joker though, this hand would be set. One, two, three, mix suits. But then it really depletes the next hand. You really, you know, if you plan to win one hand, that's not good. You want to plan to win two hands. So I think the other option probably was better, even though this hand is set because you're destroying your second set of options. There's really not much more you can do here. We might be able to do four, five, four, five, six, but we have a big gap of no five. Let's see. No five. Wait. Four, five, wrong one there. Four, five, four, five, six. That's not bad, actually. I think I wrecked my timing there. I probably should add about, I don't know, 30 seconds to my plan here. I think this is better. Four, five, four, five, six. Joker bait, five discards, set hand. It's still pretty slim, but we are leveraging three multiples. Okay. Let's see. So I think I'll add 30 seconds. Does that sound fair? Let's see the first one, the first sprint, one minute 53, second sprint, one minute 51. So we have seven, and nine, so 16 seconds under. Sprint three went over 14 seconds. And then add on 30 seconds for this last revamp. Yeah, I went way over two minutes. I think I need to practice more, which is one reason why these sprints are such great practice. If you have a set at home, get it out and try Siamese sprints. Come back and let me know your results. Be sure in the comment section to write what skill level you are, beginner, intermediate, or advanced. For the guidelines, I think for beginners under four minutes, intermediate under three minutes, and advanced under two minutes for decision making. And if you are a beginner, push yourself to play in the intermediate guideline. If you're intermediate, push yourself to play in the advanced timeline. You will see an improvement in your decision making. I guarantee it. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, click subscribe and then click the bell so you get notification for when I post new videos. That way you won't miss out on any opportunities to pick up some strategies, maybe gain an insight into the game that'll give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next Siamese sprints for American style, may all your picks be keepers.